Right, how do we find the original amount if we've been given an increase or a decrease by a certain percentage and we have the new amount? So there's been an increase, a percentage increase, a percentage decrease, one of the two. We have the new amount. How do we work back to find out what the original amount was before the percentage increase or decrease? So say, for instance, two examples, you've got a pair of jeans. They've been marked down by 20% and they're now selling for $80. What was the original price? Or let's look at an example for an increase. You've got a car. Its um, price has been increased by 5% and is now selling for 31000 How much was the car originally selling for before the increase? So what we're looking for in all these cases is the original amount. How do we work back? Right, to do that, three steps. If you follow these three steps, you can't go wrong. Okay, so step number one to get back to the original amount Ask yourself, was there an increase or decrease? First question you've got to ask yourself. Once you've figured out whether there was an increase or a decrease, step number two, if there was an increase, you're going to use this formula. You're going to say it's 100%, or oh, there's been an increase, plus the increase percentage. If there's been a decrease, you're going to say, you're going to use 100% less, it's been a decrease, so less the decrease percentage. Okay? Step number three, use the formula. Now the formula is original price equals the new price over number two above. Okay? Either that or that. So let's best way to look um, to explain this is to look at an example. Let's look at our jeans. You've got um, a pair of jeans, so we're going to first look at um, let's say an increase. Okay, these won't be jeans in that case, but let's say there's been an increase in price. So there's been a twenty percent increase, and the pair of jeans is now selling for one hundred and fifty dollars. What was the original price? Oh, okay. Step number one, was there an increase or a decrease? Okay, we said there was an increase. Increase by 20%, so increase. Number two, if there's been an increase, I need to say, according to the step number two, I need to say 100% plus the increase percent, which is 20%. Okay, equals 120%. Step number three, plug it into my formula. The original amount, which is the amount I'm trying to find, is equal to the new amount over... 120%. The new amount we know is $150. $150. Over 120% is 1.2. Whenever you convert a percent back to a number, you divide by 100. 1.2. $150 divided by 1.2 equals $125. Original in this case, price equals $125. Okay, right, let's look at a decrease. Same situation. Let's say we have a decrease by 20%. You walk into a shop, the jeans have been decreased by 20%, and they're now selling for $150. What was the original price? Okay, step number one. Was there an increase or decrease? Oh, there was a decrease. Step number two. If there was a decrease, I know that I must use this formula. 100% minus the decrease percent. So, 100% minus the decrease percent, which in this case is 20%, equals 80%. Great. Now I've got everything I need, so I use my formula. To get to my original price, I say it's a new price over, in this case, 80%. Okay, we know the new price is $150 over 80%. Again, divided by 100 to get it to a number from a percentage to a number. One, two, you move the decimal place, 0 0.8. And if you work that out, you'll get $187.50 on your calculator. 187.50. So, original price. 
equals $187.50. And that is how you work back to the original amount.